seatbelts. Ready? This is so cool that it's a button. <laughs> oh no, that's not the. Oh, it's already on. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that was weird. Mmm. Fencing. My name is Brandon Wilson. And I'm Jenna English. Together we are directing a feature entitled Sepulveda. The film actually began its life ten years ago after completing our first feature, The Man Who Couldn't. We decided we wanted to tell a story about an urban road movie, um, an odyssey through Los Angeles that a few friends decided to take on one day. So he told me the idea and I loved it and we started kind of pre-production on it. But a lot of things happened and we ended up um, putting a lot of our projects on hold until a few months ago when uh, Brandon mentioned the idea on uh, social media and Twitter. And uh, one of his former students from Marshall where he taught film and broadcast news said, hey, why don't you make it with me? Uh, I replied to Wilson's tweet um, on Twitter. And it was something about a 50 year anniversary or something for, for no, not 50 years. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe like tw 20 years, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years of uh, the man who could, the man who couldn't. Sorry, I don't know. But, um, and then I was like, I think it's time for you to uh, come up with a film starring yours truly. And like, he took me seriously and I was kind of half joking. And then uh, he messaged me and he's like, yeah, I see you, Christina and Carla, you should um, see if they're on board. And I, I let them know and they were definitely on board. Leslie's been saying how she wanted to work on a project with Wilson for a really long time now. And um, now we're making it happen. Yeah. we decided that we were going to work with them to develop um, the, uh, the details of the script. Um, so it's largely unscripted, um, they're improvising, we have worked out together what they're going to talk about, what we're going to see, um, the, the kind of broad strokes of what's going to happen along the way. But it's really coming from them and their life experiences, um, their friendship, um, you know, the ebb and flow of uh, the, the trio and, and the other friends that they have um, throughout the years and going through college and working and um, trying to stay in touch with, with each other. So it's a real collaboration not just between Brandon and myself but also between the lead actors as well. I think this film is going to be very relatable to girls our age just because we're going to capture like a moment in time of this generation and then like what uh, kind of all the what, internal what battles yeah, that we're like, going and, yeah. the, and then all the outside resources that have crafted us to be who we are now yeah. and to bring it together in, in such a simple idea as like just let's just drive down the longest street in California like and then just see where it takes us. But also give a lot of our viewers the, the opportunity to just realize how big and how diverse you know the the communities that we're living amongst are because it's extremely different everywhere you go and just to watch the different uh cities that you're going to be passing through just by going up and down to Pulvera Boulevard is insane 
and to think that we've never even realized this before this movie is set in itself and it'll really teach people to really go beyond the exterior go beyond their their comfort zone and their little niche and their small communities even in a big culturally diverse city as los angeles